Hi, this is Dawn Olszewski of DoStampingWithDawn.com and I'm here with another How'd She Do That video. And today I'm going to show you how to put the berry basket together with some tips that I've, I've discovered and then also how to make these adorable um, paper strawberries. Um, I saw this um, shared by Janet Baker and I just totally fell in love with them. So we did it with my club this month, um, I should say last month, and I'm sharing that today. Okay, so to complete the berry basket, you're going to need one full sheet of 8.5 by 11 piece of cardstock. Now, I've cut this in half at 5.5 inches. We're going to use both, and they fit perfectly on the die, just like this. And then here's what cuts out, is one um, part, you're going to need two of these, one part of the basket. And this is the edging, and you'll need two of these as well. And this you could use as a handle. I'm not using a handle today. So I've got my two here, right here. And then go ahead, and you're going to want to fold on the score lines. And there's two that fold up like that. And then same with this one, obviously. And then essentially in the end, this is how they're going to fit together. Okay, but we're going to actually start with our trimming. Okay, so let's talk about that. There are two scored lines on there. If you hold it like this in your hand with the scallops on the bottom, you're going to see one near the center, and then you're going to see another one right there, right at the end. There's like a little tab, and you'll want to fold that and I've done that on both of these and then get out your fast fuse and you want to get some adhesive on the end all right now those are ready to go we're just going to work with one of them and I'm going to actually we'll start with one here we're going to line this up now I'm, I have a tip for lining this up I discovered that See the, um, between the two scallops, that will line up perfectly um, along the edge here, and same with this one. So they did a nice job designing that. And then I like to use the handheld stapler by Stampin' Up. This is like my favorite new tool right now. Um, first of all, it's very lightweight. It um, is easy to staple. You don't need a lot of strength for it. Um, it uses smaller staples that we carry, um, but I really love it. So we're going to, we just added that to that, and we're going to do the same thing here, aligning it between those scallops, like I mentioned before, and then come in again. Now notice that I'm placing my staples, you know, farther out towards the um, sides of the basket. I found that's a nice positioning for it. So now, because we've already got that fold here, so this will cross over and fold like this. Now you're ready to add your last one. So what I like to do with that is I like to take my end that's not the tab end and find the one with the adhesive. And that's where we're going to give it a nice pressing. And then we'll fold it over and line it up just like I said between those two scallops. And we'll finish this basket off. This is so quick. You could crank out a lot of these very easily. Teacher gifts, um, Easter coming up would be a great um, use for it, obviously. May Day baskets, something for Mother's Day. Oop, I just ran out of staples, so I'll have to refill that. But I have, I have another basket here that I've finished. So isn't that adorable? Super quick, super easy. So look what I put in my basket. Strawberries. Aren't they cute? And they're just made with paper and they're pretty easy to put together. So let me show you some um, tips on doing that. Now first thing that you're going to need is some um, paper and I, I, like, I do like the weight of this and it's called Stacked with Love. This is the paper that I'm using. It's sized um, four and a half by six and a half. It comes with 48 sheets of paper. There's 12 designs, four of each. So you're going to cut two hearts. This is the framelit heart. And from the center, it's the fourth one out. And then two hearts are going to come out of the sweetheart punch. Now this idea came from um, Janet Baker. Oh, and also, 
you're going to need a leaf. Now the leaf is um, the fun, fun flower and um, what you're going to do for that is you need a pair of scissors. Here's mine here. And you'll just cut it in half. Okay, so, oh, one more thing. You're going to need a piece of pistachio pudding and this is about 12 inches. This is um, baker's twine. All right, so to put this together, what you're going to do is you'll set these two larger hearts aside for a minute and you're going to take the smaller ones and you'll fold them in half. And then we're going to add adhesive to them, quite a bit of adhesive. And I'm going to recommend the fast fuse. Now I've tried to put some of these together with the snail and they go together just fine, but they don't hold over time. So I think this is a better product for adhering. Okay. Next one. Now some tips on this is to do a bit of a, when you come down to the end, is like a check mark. See how I'm kind of pulling it away? And when you do that, this works perfectly. So let's go ahead and fold them again. Now, we're just going to start with one heart. And we're going to line this up. Come in a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing here. Oh, wrong direction. There we go. We're going to line it up about right here. And that is about a quarter of an inch from, um, from the tip of the heart at the bottom here. You're going to do the same with this one, just on the other side. And there we go. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. Come back out here. Look like this, but you want to keep them folded because that's how you're going to put this on and you're going to put it on like this with the pattern outward. Okay. And there we go put that together. Now, I do recommend giving this a bit of a rub. Make sure that it, that adhesive is staying really nicely. Alright, now get out your paper snips and you're going to, from the center of where the hearts come together, um, I would probably cut about an inch or so. And that's going to allow us to do this. See how our strawberry is coming together? Isn't that cool? Okay, but before we do that, we're going to add our leaves. And they're right here. I'm going to put some adhesive at the top here. Okay, and then that just sits just like that. And then you'll flip it over and you'll do the same over here. go. Now you want to get out your 1 8 inch hole punch. We're going to punch a hole just in one layer. We don't want to do this one back here. We just want to do this one here. Okay. You want to flip that over and do the other leaf as well. At this point we're going to curl the opposite hearts a little bit and help them fold. So I just get my bone folder out just see how it's curling around. I'll do that on this one. There we go. Then go ahead and get your baker's twine out and thread that through both of them. Alright, and we're now ready to kind of pull this whole strawberry together here. So go ahead and form the shape of it like this and then fold the two pieces inside and then we have your strawberry here. I like to pinch these two until I get them where I want it. There we go. And then this is the part where you probably could feel like you could use another hand. But if you just cross this over and come under and start to pull it, then you can actually start to just push it under there and it'll come together. There we go. Now tie it off just like you tie your shoes, or should I say used to tie your shoes. If you're like me, slip-ons, love the slip-ons. 
All right, and there's our adorable strawberry. How cute is that? And pretty easy to put together. Now, just something about the bottom here is sometimes, depending on what you want to put in here, if it's something really tiny and it's going to slip out the bottom, then you might want to address that. Um, and how I would do that is maybe just here, just kind of poke this um, in, like this one's already starting to go in a little bit. Just start to do that. And then get out maybe a glue dot. Get one here and roll that up a little bit. And then place that right here. And then we'll press it down. And then that'll stay nice and closed for you there. There you go. Um, but really, if you're putting something larger in there, you don't you don't really need to address that. Um, something like jewelry, or you could put in larger jelly beans. Jelly beans would probably not fall out. Um, Hershey's that are coming in like the square, um, bite-sized ones, those would work great in there. So just add that to your cute little berry um, basket. And how cute is that? I hope you have fun with that. And if you're looking for more inspiration, be sure to stop on my blog at DoStampingWithDawn.com. Or if you're looking for Stampin' Up! products, be sure to visit my store at DoStamping.StampinUp.net. Thanks.